Hi, Open House. I'm Danielle Bernstein of We Were What. Welcome to my Soho loft. I was really excited to finally have a space that I could make my own and really share my design aesthetic with the world. This inspiration was a very lived in, wabi-sabi, neutral vibe. You'll see a lot of playing with organic textures and shapes and really an appreciation for imperfection. So as soon as you walk into the space, you are greeted by this gorgeous bookshelf. It has collected vintage pieces from all over the world. And then at the end of the hallway, you have this really dramatic shutter that lets light in throughout the day and just creates this really dramatic effect. And then further down the hallway, we have this massive mirror that was custom made in Brooklyn as my selfie and outfit of the day mirror. I really wanted something that was super wide and really tall, and it has this beautiful reclaimed wood on it, and this is where I take all of my outfit photos. When designing the bedroom, we wanted to create a really warm, relaxing, and comfortable environment. I spent a lot of time upstate throughout the pandemic at this place called The Duchess, where they used a lot of this dark green. So I was really inspired by that and then wanted to mix it in with the aesthetic of the rest of the apartment. We custom made the bed and slip cover, and then it sits in between these two Burlwood nightstands designed by Sawhouse. We also sourced a 1970s Spanish wicker mirror and an early 20th century Chinese wooden bench. And the ceiling is part of the original loft structure, so we wanted to keep that because it's one of the coolest aspects of this place. And then we use this Noguchi lantern to just fill the space with a lot of light. So now we are in the main part of the loft, which is the living room, dining room, and kitchen combined. I do a ton of entertaining, so this room is perfect with the open format. And you'll see we have a lot of interesting plants and different ceramics throughout the space to make it feel really special. So we custom made this sofa with Marissa from Corvino Designs, and I wanted it to feel like it was swiveling around and opening up to the rest of the room, but it has these really sharp angles, completely custom made with this really amazing piece of wood on the back to serve as a shelf, but also where you could eat and watch TV. Now we're in the dining area, which sits really open to the kitchen. It's not only where I entertain, but where my team works. So we wanted to create a really great sitting environment with a mixture of a banquette and then these beautiful genre chairs. And then filled the ceiling with these beautiful big pendants custom made in Canada by an artist named Kit King. I love this area so much. I love hosting dinner parties and my team loves working here all day and just creating a really cool flow. So now we are in the kitchen where, I have to admit, my boyfriend does most of the cooking. It has these beautiful built-in cabinets with this brass hardware and this dark gray marble backsplash. So we also sourced these gorgeous, vintage, brutalist Sergio Rodriguez-inspired bar stools that really allow for people to sit and hang out while we're cooking. I really love this kitchen because it brings people together when they're here at our home. Okay guys, so now you've seen most of my apartment, but there's still one more space that's pretty special, so let's go. Welcome to my dream closet. Well, actually it was the primary bedroom, but we converted it into my absolute dream closet, which is highly functional, but also beautifully designed. So it was really important for me because we work from home to have a space that could serve as a showroom, a place to meet, try on all my new arrivals and create outfits with. So you'll see that it's super organized. There is a place for everything. And this is my massive shoe wall. It's really the first time that I've been able to see all the shoes that I've collected over the years. And in this corner of the closet, we have my sunglass and accessories wall, which really helps make styling my outfit super easy and also shows all of the new sunglasses for my brand. I really feel like it's a space that not only makes my job super easy, but also allows me to be really creative. All right, guys, thanks for coming to my little oasis in the heart of Soho. I hope you love it as much as I do and keep following my brand, We Wore What, on Instagram for more. If you can't get enough of these fabulous homes and designs, then you gotta like and subscribe because we could all use a little more fabulous in our lives, right?